Hi there and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can um, use the Microsoft Excel to calculate compound interest. So let's get into the calculation in how to do the compound interest in Excel. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways that you can calculate compound interest in Excel. Um, the first one is by using, by typing in the numbers and formulas, and the second one is by using the, the wizard, function wizard that we have here in um, Excel, okay? But before we start, there is just a few things that you need in order for you to calculate uh, the compound interest, okay? We have the future value, which is the amount that we want to know, uh, and then we have the present value, the amount of uh, money or funds that you have at the moment, that you have want to calculate with the interest rate um, for this example here I'm just going to put uh, eight eight percent and the number of years or period is the uh, time frame that you want to calculate okay. okay to start to calculate the compound first just click on the cell where you want the results to be shown okay just type in the equal sign okay and then select um, the present value, okay. Uh, according to this formula here, we have to multiply the present value with um, one plus the interest rate, okay. Interest rate, just click on this cell over here, and you can see uh, Excel selects it, and then we close the bracket. And then we have the exponential, exponential part, which is the number of um, years. We're going to enter the sign. And we and click on this cell, OK? Um, the first calculation I want to show you is uh, one year. OK, you can two, three. I'll show you later on you know, uh, how uh, it turns out, OK? So this is the formula. and after you have done entering the formula, just press enter and you can see that the result is shown here is $1,080. That means if we put uh, a $1,000 here into some sort of um, investment or saving and we have an interest rate of uh, 8% and after a year, we will have an $80 um, profit. Okay. Um, say let's change this to two years. Okay. And you can see uh, the formula now is going to calculate automatically for you on uh, the, the future value of your compound interest, say, let's say 10 years, okay, 15 years, all right, and 20 years, okay. So, um, we need to go back to one, and we're going to delete this, okay. So, the second method that you can calculate uh, you, by using the Excel is uh, by using the built-in function in Excel, okay? So we need to just type equal and then press FV and we're going to select this one and we're going to click on this um, insert function um, over here, okay? If we click this, we'll see a pop-up window, okay? Uh, this uh, allows us to choose functions or the, the data that we want, okay? So the rate will be 0 0.08, okay? We'll see this here, F3, and we N per is the number, is N per period, okay, is the number of uh, years. This is your, uh, You have to enter this one, you have to enter this one, present value, 1000, okay, okay, so, so this is, um, when you, after you have entered the numbers, you can see that the Excel automatically calculates the number for you right here, and it says here is the return future value of investment based on periodic constant payment and constant interest rate, you can see that it's negative over here, okay, so, what is it? Is um, you can go here, 
we change this to pay because uh, Excel is assuming that we're going to withdraw our money. So if you put a negative sign over here, which means that uh, we're not going to touch this money. So the value here will then be positive. Okay. So let's just click OK. And you can see the result is the same as the, the first method that we used to cal the calculate the compound interest. So if you change this to 5, it's going to calculate it automatically, automatically as well. Or 10. Okay. Or you know you might want to change the interest rate. Whatever which one you want to change. Okay. So I hope uh, this video helps you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.